This is Miss Emily from MotionTutor.com and this is another video lesson for you guys. This one is telling a math story by looking at pictures. You'll see what I mean in a few seconds, but before I go on, check out MotionTutor.com for more videos, games and activities that relate to those videos. Now let's get to this lesson. Okay, looking at my screen, I am going to show you what I mean by the picture telling the math story. So, looking at these, these balls that you play with, you play some kind of sport with these balls, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven balls here. This represents the seven over here represents the whole thing, the whole group of balls here. So if we look carefully, this seven is made up of three and four. That makes the seven. This group of balls are made up of three tennis balls and four baseballs. So you see how this image tell the story? What this image is saying is we have seven balls in which three are tennis balls and four are baseballs. And here is the number bond that represents it. Here's three for the tennis balls, here's four for the baseballs, and together, seven balls. I will move these out of the way and do another one. What do you think about this one? What story's going on here? What's going on here? What do you think? I see one, two, three, four, five hearts. Five hearts. And this group of five hearts is made up of three larger hearts and two smaller, right? So let's see a number bond that illustrates that. Looking at this number bond, we see how five can be made up of two and three. These two and three together makes this five. And here is the image that illustrates that. Five hearts together, three big ones, two small ones. And here's the number bond to represent them. Okay, let's look at another one. How about these fish? So what do you think? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. But we have six large ones and two small. So how do you think that number bond is going to look like? Let's take a look. Yep, I'm sure some of you guys guessed this. Six larger ones, here's the six. Two smaller, here's the two. And together, one whole thing is eight, and here's the eight. So, let's go to another example. This one is more of a word problem. Jake has four cats and two dogs. How many pets does Jake have? So, we're in Jake's house. And here are his four cats. One, two, three, four. Here are his four cats and his two dogs. Now, how many pets does he have? Well, we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six total pets, and they're made up of four cats and two dogs. So how would that number bond look? Let's take a look at this. 
So here's the number bond. Here's the four that represents the four cats. Here's the two that represents the two dogs. And together, they make six. So the four and the two is six. So that's how you do it, where we look at pictures and we model it using number bonds. That's all for now. Be sure to check motiontutor.com for other video lessons and activities and games related to them. Bye!